What's up guys, welcome to Ty's Crypto Help. Uh, today I wanted to do a video because I'm going to be selling my Ethereum. So hopefully you guys can get an idea if you don't know about how selling and trading cryptocurrency works. I'm gonna explain why I'm doing it too. Uh, and yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, so I'm using a website called Bitrix. Uh, it's an exchange. Uh, they also have a wallet where you can have your money in, but the exchange is where you can like trade your cryptocurrency. You can buy into one, sell it, and then buy another one. Go back to Bitcoin, go to Litecoin, go to Ethereum, do whatever you want. Uh, and they have tons of different coins. Bitrex is, I feel like, one of the exchanges that has like the most, uh, the most like coins on it. Or maybe I'm wrong. That's at least as far as I know. It seems like the the best one. Anyway, uh, so here we uh, look at my Ethereum balance, uh, which is the only coin I have. I'm a Bitrex account right now. I have almost 1.1 uh, Ethereum, and that's what I sold uh, my PlayStation 4 for because uh, I sold like a PlayStation 4 that I barely even used. It had been sitting in my storage building and I was like, I'm only taking cryptocurrency for this. So who wants to buy it? I ended up like one of my friends wanted it. Uh, the price was, I think a dollar, I always want to say dollars, $196 uh, and some change or whatever, 196 bucks. Uh, and he sold it or I sold it for 1.1 Ethereum. So a little bit over that, I think it may have been maybe $215, maybe something like that. Uh, and now look at it. Sold it at 215, and now just a couple days later, it's at 294. It's pretty freaking awesome. So I sold a PlayStation at 2 215 bucks, and now just because I waited a few days, Ethereum has now made it two dollar 294 dollars and 78 cents. Uh, let's go to CoinMarketCap.com. Uh, actually, you know what? We should go ahead and get this uh, transaction started. So the reason I'm selling this is because. Well, yeah, let's look at Ethereum really fast. Let's pull that up. Uh, Coin market cap is where I look at my prices usually. Uh, Ethereum is at 267 right now. It's kind of crazy. Uh, when I first got into crypto and then I actually finally bought some, I started out with Ethereum. Uh, and it's weird. That was pretty much, I think, the first price I bought at is like 257. It's either 257 or 267. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It's back up to that price. I don't, I mean, it could keep going up. I, there's a good chance it will. Uh, but I feel like at this moment, just because I, I sold that PlayStation, I've kind of flipped it and almost doubled the profit. Uh, not almost double the profit, but getting close to it. Uh, I don't want to risk like Ethereum dropping back down because it is pumped up right now. Not Ethereum, but I feel like the whole market in general is kind of pumped up right now. Like, look at this. Just look at the charts over here on the left. Uh, I need to pay my, pay my Squarespace and stuff. Uh, remind me in an hour. I always do that. Uh, so yeah, look at the whole chart overall. You can just see it's like a upward trend of everything. I mean, that's cryptocurrency pretty much in general. It's been going up and up and up uh, with some big dips here and there. But I don't know. I was just looking at the charts because what I want you to do, here's my idea for right now at least, uh, because I, I feel like Ethereum is probably going to go back down because look, look at its uptrend right now. It's like the last week or so or whatever, it's been just going up and up and up. Uh, I want to cash out my Ethereum. I want to trade it into something more stable uh, just for the time being because I'm, I'm definitely going to do something with this money here in the next little bit and I'll do videos on that. Uh, but uh, I, I, I don't want Ethereum to just crash right now and I lose all the profit that I made. Uh, so hopefully I can find a uh, stable coin to put it in. I think I have an idea. I think we're going to go with Litecoin, but we're going to first get this transaction started with Ethereum. So Bitrix, if you want to go make an account on that, I'll put a link down below. Uh, Let's see. I wouldn't recommend really buying uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum right at the moment at this actual time of recording this video, uh, which you can look at the date below of uh, when this is posted, if it was afterward. But the reason is just because, uh, yeah, I, th I feel like they're, like I said, all pretty high right now. Everything's been pumped up a lot, especially Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin's probably going to go back down. Or maybe it doesn't. Don't listen to me. This is not financial advice. This is just my opinions and my thoughts but okay so here's the bitrix exchange i'm on the ethereum page uh you see bitrix market and then ethereum uh right over there and you come down here if you want to buy it this is where you're going to be buying it you have to connect your uh debit card or you might have to do a uh, uh, cash uh i don't know there's there's so many different ways to buy bitcoin i'll definitely do another video on that that's not what i'm getting into this is more about selling ethereum and how to sell it um so you can do multiple things. You can obviously like set your prices to whatever you want uh, by typing it in here. Usually what I'm trying to do, because if I'm trying to sell it, it's usually like that moment I'm going to get it sold. 
uh, I do the price as the last price because uh, that's what it's currently selling for right at the moment which if you want to instead of like if you're on an exchange that doesn't have that where you can do that because a lot of them don't uh, you can just basically go and just copy the last price and then paste it in there uh, for the ask price uh, what you're selling it for so let's hit last again let's do max because I'm trying to sell all my Ethereum. I want to cash it out made me some profits let's get out uh, and yeah I actually don't think I've actually sold on Bitrix before maybe I have I don't think I have so this is my first time I'm I'm always worried you know, like I'm gonna do something wrong even though I know how to do it I'm like oh crap because it's so scary especially sending money uh, let's just hit last price one more time see it went up a little bit should have clicked it before dang it uh, well actually no I guess it went up that's that's good for me what I'm talking about uh, type limit sell See, I don't know exactly what uh, limit sell means, but there we go. You see the commission, the small little fee they took. Your sell order, blah, 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 has been processed. So sometimes, depending on your order and what price you set it at, it's going to take a little bit to go through. I think mine already, like, I think that was instant. That's how quick it is to sell cryptocurrency and to trade it. Like, imagine if you were doing that with a bank. They'd be like, Oh no, it's Sunday. We'll, we'll hit you back Monday and get you get you fixed. Then you'll have your money. Then you can do whatever you want with it. That's freaking annoying. That's why I think cryptocurrency is so cool. It's it's instant. Not always instant, but it's so much better. You control it. It's up to you. It's not up to the freaking bank. It's not up to somebody else deciding if they feel like working and helping you out and talking to you on the phone for an hour and a half with your bank. As you can tell, I've had problems with my bank. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, now I have Bitcoin. Let's go back to my wallets, and it should be there. There we go. Uh, I think it's completely done. Yeah, because it's not saying pending or reserved or anything. It's it's available. So there we go. I have 0 0.08 Bitcoin. A bunch of numbers after that. Now what I want to do is buy some Litecoin. So we're gonna open up Litecoin in a new tab again. Let's look at the like. I don't think I actually pulled up Litecoin, but this is why I want to get in this coin. It's always kind of not always been stable. We'll look at the all time because I, I actually do need to like do a little bit of research. What am I talking about? It's been stable. Look at this. This is all time though, but let's do the last year. Uh, if you look for the last little bit, uh, Litecoin has pretty much been around this price. Like obviously there is some big pumping right here, but that could have just been people getting into crypto and Litecoin becoming like a big thing. Because uh, it's definitely one of the major coins now, but yeah, I just feel like for right now it's not gonna be in there long. Watch, I, I buy in, and then everybody dumps their Litecoin. I mean, that can happen. That's that's part of it. But I just feel like right now this is a safer one to be in. It could drop. Like it's it, it's kind of a little bit at a high right now, by uh, forty two to forty seven. So it definitely could drop. Ugh, and it scares me. I just don't want it to be in Ethereum because I feel like the the swing with Ethereum could be way bigger than the swing with. Uh, Litecoin. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it in a Litecoin. Maybe I'm making a stupid decision right now, but we're gonna find out. Uh, okay, so now I need to go to here. And you go to Litecoin, and we're gonna buy some. Okay, here's how. I guess we are gonna teach you how to buy, how to buy and sell uh, cryptocurrency on Bitrix. Let's go to the price. We'll do the last price. We'll do max. Cause we're trying to buy it all and we're gonna buy Litecoin boom but yeah it's like I was saying a little bit ago it's always scary I think it's already pretty much filling uh, it's always scary to uh, send crypto to like a wallet address for me because I feel like I've like backspaced one of the the keys or one of the letters or something or did it wrong or didn't copy at all and if you send it to the wrong thing I'm pretty sure it just goes like if you send it to the wrong wallet address it just goes into nothingness like that money is just floating Pretty much nowhere. Maybe I'm wrong. If somebody knows more details about that, please let me know. But as far as I understand it, that's how it works. Uh, I hate when this happens. You sell something on an exchange and it leaves you zero, zero, zero. Let me see, let's see if I can sell the rest of that. I wonder if it'll let me do it. I don't think it will. Yeah, see, look, the minimum order is that. So now I've just got that much freaking. Bitcoin just sitting in there unless I put more Bitcoin back in it was probably just because the price changed or something right at the last second uh, So which made the like rates different or something, but anyway, I'm pretty sure now I think I have Litecoin Booyah, let's see we got 6.4 Litecoin, which is 
equivalent to $293. Remember, it was $294 just a minute ago, but that could have dropped down a tiny bit uh, just like before I even sold it. So, say so we'll say $293 is what I was at. Keep you guys kind of updated on this maybe uh, and let you guys know how it's doing. But this money is probably about to go back to some other stuff uh, very soon, which I'm going to do some videos about. There's a poker site, a couple poker sites I found. You can play with Bitcoin, so I want to get into that. Maybe do some videos of that, some live streams. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to shut up now. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more cryptocurrency videos. And uh, good luck trading and making money. Don't lose money. That's the goal. All right. Peace.